why you and your doctor should discuss protein, you and your doctor are a team, or at least you should be. After all, you both have the same goal, to keep you in the best possible health. Sometimes, it is difficult to be completely honest with your doctor, however. It is tempting to fudge a little when it comes to things like nutrition and daily habits. These are the top two subjects people lie about when it comes to a visit to the doctor's office, with sex as the third. This is about your health, however, which means it is in your best interest to be completely honest, no matter how embarrassing it might be. After all, who is in a better position to help you get rid of whatever physical problems you might have than your doctor? Without correct and complete information, there is no way a doctor can prescribe the right course of action for you to take to either become healthier or remain at your best possible health. So, if you smoke, even if it's only a few cigarettes a month, you are not a non-smoker. Sorry. This is something that can impact your health and your doctor needs to know about it. Your doctor also needs to know what you eat, on average, as well as information on any supplements, medications, and herbal remedies you happen to be taking. Some of them might conflict with other medications or treatments. Your doctor might also determine that you are lacking some nutrient and suggest supplements you can take to make up the deficiency. The average person gets enough protein from food sources, but in some cases, a protein supplement might be necessary. For example, vegetarians often miss out on some important amino acids, or dieters may not eat enough, period. A brief period on a liquid protein diet might be just what the doctor ordered, literally, to give your slow metabolism a quick boost. You'll never know unless you talk about it honestly with your doctor. What protein does for you, it's commonly known that protein is used to build and repair muscles, but that is only a very small part of what protein does. Without protein, you will continue to feel hungry and end up eating things that only make matters worse. Protein plays an important role in thermogenesis, the body heat production that comes when food energy is burned. Only alcohol burns more energy. Protein also helps your body feel fuller than a diet than lower protein but more carbohydrates. Thermogenesis from a meal is around 8% on average. Protein can raise this by 30%. There are a number of other processes protein is a part of, such as, creating and repairing connective tissue, the creation of cell membranes, the regulation of fluid balance, the regulation of pH balance, the formulation of a number of enzymes and hormones, such as those responsible for sleep, ovulation, and digestion, the immune system. When is additional protein necessary? Protein is an important part of every diet and everyone should be sure to get enough. This should be no more than 35% of the daily caloric intake, however. There are rare occasions when the amount of protein can exceed that, however, such as in the following conditions, people who have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, can use protein drinks to have additional dietary protein without increasing in size. This is also good for emphysema patients. Those who have been diagnosed as HIV positive will more than likely need to have additional protein to give their immune systems a helping hand. HIV positive people would do well to avoid protein bars that have a lot of added sugar, however, since this can depress their immune systems. All natural protein sources are the best for this purpose. Women who are pregnant will have to have a great deal more protein, at least 60 grams per day and possibly more. Women who are nursing will need an extra 20 grams a day more than the standard amount. Adults over 55 years of age might have to increase protein intake to a gram per kilogram of body weight. Anyone being treated for bed sores, or anyone trying to prevent bed sores, might need to have more protein, as might anyone who is ill, or recovering from surgery or traumas. When is additional protein dangerous? There are certain conditions that require less protein, such as kidney disease. Those who have kidney disease, or are at risk of contracting kidney disease, may develop kidney stones from excess protein. Too much protein can actually damage your liver. There are other conditions that can be exacerbated by too much protein, including, those who have chronic fatigue syndrome may find it difficult to digest excess protein. Excess protein can increase the risk of osteoporosis. Excess protein can blunt the effect of levodopa, a treatment for Parkinson's disease. Excess protein can worsen psoriasis. Too much protein can also change the composition of the saliva, causing a buildup of bacteria that cause gum disease and tooth decay. Protein supplements, those who need additional protein will find it comes in many forms, each with its own unique benefits. Powders, there are four main substances that make protein powders, whey, rice, soy, and egg. These are generally not blended, but check the labels to be certain, in case of allergies. Rice and soy are the best choices for vegetarians and vegans. Rice protein is hypoallergenic, which means it is good for just about anyone. Powders take time to prepare because they need to be thoroughly blended. Shakes, these are pre-made and packaged for ease of use, though sometimes they are too large for some people to drink all at once. These are often meant to replace meals, which makes them too heavy to be just a snack. Puddings, a pudding shot is often best used as a snack before a meal as an appetite suppressant. 
the servings are generally small, about an ounce or so. Liquid protein shots, these convenient little packages can be drunk in a few seconds and gives a protein boost without a lot of unnecessary additives. Profect, the liquid protein shot made by Protica, is less than 3 fluid ounces, but has 25 grams of protein and only 100 calories. Other beverages, protein water is a lighter alternative to protein shakes, with the same protein content. Get the kinds that are low on calories and low on added sugar. Plain milk also makes a good choice for added protein, containing 9 grams per serving.